Need a clean fight, get on a pelea limpia, okay? Touch gloves now, good luck. Coca los guantes, you want to work it. Navarrete, if he wants to win this fight. Neither fighter fights good going backwards. Dog Bay says he's going to toe the line and back up Navarrete. If both fighters are telling the truth, we should be in for a great fight tonight. Between fights, said it was ill during camp, traveling a lot, a lot of injuries. Father wasn't with him the entire time, didn't get high quality. There may be some things there that are truthful, but there were so many things, Tess, like you just mentioned. Yeah. It's hard to pick out. Now, that thing right now, he's, he's pretty confident on the outside right now. He's landing some shots, moving a lot, exerting a lot of energy. And work with the jab and then the right hand to the body from the champ. And now Dog Bay able to get to the inside. And that's exactly what Dog Bay needs to do. He needs to choose his spots wisely, move his head, slip, and come down to the body and come over the top. Arreta confided in me. I do have an issue with my right thumb. I opted against a lidocaine injection because I didn't want to have any doping problem. But he said, I know that Dog Bay is going to come in pressuring. I'm hoping to catch him early. If not, I'm going to box him. If I take a round or two off, if my right hand gets hurt. So we will monitor that right hand, and that is a slip. You see the build of Dog Bay, built like a tank. It's working for him right now. The physicality of this fight right now is working for him. He's getting inside and choosing spots and digging down to Navarrete's body with the left hook. He's used to fighting taller guys. This yeah. isn't anything new for him. He knows how to punch right where he is, just like he did right there. The key is for him to not raise up in the punches, yes. and he has to show that he has the fitness and conditioning to keep that pace up. In here as we come to the end of round number one of our WBO Junior Featherweight World Title Rematch. 25 and 1. The immediate rematch clause kicked in, and thus. Yeah, Dog Bay looks like a different fighter to me. He's using his jab. He's actually jabbing the chest of Navarrete, which is a smart thing to do against a taller fighter. And you're going to take some steam away from his punches. That was a nice sequence right there from Dog Bay. That's Dog Bay at his best, where he stays low yeah. and he punches right where he is. He doesn't raise up to get the shot. One of the things I want to see from Dog Bay, that from the uh, uppercut from Navarrete, is I want to see some feints. Make himself small and difficult for Navarrete to catch him with anything. We'll see if that message comes from his father, Paul Dogbe, who is the chief second, the trainer of Isaac. Mark Kriegel, that is a unique relationship, to say the least. Thanks, Joe. This isn't just a test of... Isaac born in Ghana, moved to London as a child. He's trying to slow him down. And eventually, I believe he's going to catch him with something over the top. Maybe an overhand right. Oh, he sends him off balance that time with a right hand. Then he tries to come with an uppercut as Dogbay now wraps up with that left hand. Isaac Dogbay cannot get out of the way of that punch right now. He's not made the adjustment thus far. The reason for that, Dre, is, is he, le he leans over that front knee. You know, he gives that little, that little cushion for the uppercut. There oh, is there it is again! Big left uppercut from Navarrete! He's hurt. Very hurt. Significant shot that time. Tries to come in with the left hook. Just a glancing blow. Navarrete needs to go right back to that uppercut. Comes raining in with headshots. Dog Bay clearly affected. He can't get out of the way of the uppercut when he's fresh. He certainly can't get out of the way of it when he's hurt. And you can see redness around that right eye of Isaac Dogbay. What a round for the champ. Short left uppercut right up the middle on Isaac Dogbay. You see him lean a little bit forward, expecting the jab. And he was caught in the process. Look, at this is exactly how you need to react. 18 power punches in that second round in Navarrete. And now Dogbay comes charging out and tries to go to that belt line, landing a right hand to the body of Navarrete. But you have to ignore the, ignore that. You know, you see the mental toughness. You see how Dog Bay's coming in aggressively and trying to change the tide of the fight. That took to the liver because that already hurt him and then follow up with a right uppercut. That was the left uppercut. And so he's got to continue to duck Tim. And I know you said you don't like that, but the way he can avoid getting hit with that uppercut on the way in is to come behind a single and double jab. There's a misnomer that the shorter fighter can't use the jab, but he certainly can. He can use the jab. He's using the well in the first round. It's a driving right hand. There's the left uppercut again. And again as Dogby tries to fight back. Combination included a right hand at the end of an uppercut there. And now Navarrete's on the attack as he places a left hand to the liver. Another left uppercut.
as the former champ from Ghana is absorbing punishment and trying to give. Missing wildly with the right hand. Dog Bay doesn't make him pay the price and then he's sent off. Out of his element right now, even more so than Dog Bay being hurt. It's just a major concern. He can't get out of the way of it. He can't make the adjustment. I don't care if you're a power puncher. Good right hand from Dog Bay. You gotta work your skill and learn how to make adjustments so you don't get hit with the same shot over and over again like Dog Bay is. Another big shot from Navarrete after Dog Bay landed his best punch and now he is hurt. He is at wobbly legs here in round three. Can he hold up? Backed up into the ropes. Here comes the champ on the attack. Looking to finish things here in Tucson. Dog Bay turns the tables for a moment. But look at the heart of Dog Bay. He keeps fighting back. You know, as fighters, we train to go towards danger. Dog Bay needs to hold on, get himself together so he can regroup. He just ate another right hand from Navarrete. That's not a tip of mid race. Clearly. Body shots from Dog Bay. He still has plenty of fight. He's just badly hurt. Wobbling back to the red corner. Room to room. And showing off those belts and handing out the stuffed animals. Right now it is round number four and is getting desperate for Isaac Dog Bay. Madison Square Garden and seems even better now. Stronger. Bigger, more powerful, and clearly confident that he can do it again in more demanding fashion. And Tessie taking advantage of that left hand being down from Dog Bay. He's There's landing right, hand. right hands. Navarrete right on the top of the head of Isaac Dog Bay. If he comes on the chin. And every so often, Dog Bay gives just a little glimmer of hope with all that heart that he has. Body shot, left hand to the belt line from Navarrete. But see, you need to understand that those body shots, so we will eventually bring those hands down to protect our body. Except this round, if he starts to go to the body of Dog Bay, this fight will not last much longer. <laughs> he's trying, what he's trying to do is he's trying to get Navarrete out of position. Navarrete sometimes pulls back, straight back, so he's wanting, looking for his fighter to get the shot. And that's the right hook coming from a different angle. There it is again. He tried it right there. That's exactly what his dad was asking for. Dog Bay ate another long range right hand. Now he's off balance and being chased down in a hurt short right uppercut. As Navarrete every so often will go back to the well to that uppercut. And now just off balance that time and rolling down. And he's going to need every bit of that battle cry right now to come back from this. And Tim, where, where's the game? Where's the plan B? No plan B. It's a plan A. Get in shape and go fight. If that doesn't work, then what? There you go. I mean, you can train all the muscles you want, but it's all about the skill set and your mentality. Turns his back and chased down again with a left hand. These rounds are all looking the same, aren't they? And it's all about the champ. Navarrete in complete control. He upset to get the belt. He said, listen, I'm not used to having a belt. I was leaving it everywhere in recent months. Left it at a bench in an airport. He's acting like a champion. He's exuding confidence. That old adage, you get 25% better when you become a champion? Yes. Maybe 50% better for Navarrete. Maybe 50%. Like I said in the beginning, you know, Navarrete has a style to give a short man problems. He has every punch in the toolbox. He was caught with that big shot there. And Dog Bay right there followed him out with a nice good combination. One-two combination. Remember, we sold offense tonight, and that's exactly what you have gotten so far. And you will get plenty of it a second time. They threw nearly 2,000 punches in their first fight. And now closing the gap is Dog Bay. And then he gets back. He allows Navarrete to get distance to land shots like that. And at 5-2, you can't do that. He, and see, he steps back after he lands a right hand. A vicious right hand on Navarrete. There's a left hook and then a right to the body. Maybe the best combination that Dog Bay's been able to put forth. Look where he's at. He's inside the pocket test. Again to the body. There's a left uppercut again. Dog Bay quick to react this time. Settle down a little bit here in round number five. Fun stuff. That he has to continue to press forward and get in the inside and stay in the inside. Unique scoring to have it a sweep with two 10-8 rounds. We did not have knockdowns, but Dog Bay was hurt so badly that you can justify 10-8 rounds there. Perhaps the best work that could have possibly gone Dog Bay's way came round number six here. Even though Navarrete has gone away from that left uppercut, I guarantee you he's looking for I don't know if it's injury or fatigue. 
But going into the fifth round, you could see how tired Navarrete was, and he allowed Dogbe to turn this fight around. That was a good settle down round for Dogbe because he had to get through some choppy waters and his legs. He's not being directly in front of Navarrete, and it's, it's, it's working for him right now. Time, so yeah, every time he sits out in front for a little bit too long, he's in, he's quick with the combination, and I'm talking about Dog Bay. He's staying at the end of that long reach. Yeah, you got to get inside, all the way out, or all the way in. Mean sequence right there from Navarrete to the head left hook right there. On the separation. Looking for that left uppercut. That and now chases there. him down. Dogbe went straight back and he just paid the price. That is a knockdown scored by Navarrete. Seven. Hey, you good? Come to me. Come he to me. was chased down. And now 45 seconds remain here in wow. round number six. Fighters are trained to go right into danger. That is what he was trained to do, but he is hurting because of it. Navarrete, Dogbe fires back in one instance, but Navarrete still on the charge. And because of it, you have a very exciting fight. And then he comes forward. He was damaged, and then he comes forward with two punches here to close out round six. Boy, oh boy, is this a fan-friendly fight. Dog Bay would have went down, but you see that body shot right there to the right, to the liver, hurt Dog Bay. You see the follow-up shot, and there's the, there's the ropes there that held up Dog Bay. That's why the ref called it a knockdown. But I'll tell you what, you have a very game former champ who is returning fire even when he's damaged. 34 power punches landed in the last round for Emmanuel Navarrete. And he's on the attack early on here in round seven. He's going to have to look to protect his son. Yes. If the punishment continues, I don't think he will. But I think he needs to take a hard look at this and, and make sure he's, he's protecting his son. I want to work angles and move his feet. But if he doesn't change his tactics, I will think about stopping this fight. I don't know if I believe that. I don't think he is. <laughs> Listen, Dog Bay is responding like a fighter should respond. He's fighting. He's not giving up. He's mm -hmm. not quitting. Yeah. Combination from Navarrete. I said this. I want to be aggressive, but I don't want to use my boxing skills. Bring generalship. Showing himself as more of an involved, matured fighter. Yeah. End of seven here. Dude, by the way, we talk about Fury, his size, six foot nine. Schwartz is six six. Schwartz a good looking tall athlete. Now, hurt again with the late rally and body shots in round four. I think it's up to Navarrete if he wants to try to step it up yeah. and get a knockout. Like he wants it. Um, Dog Bay's legs are very, very. Oh, what a big shot that Dog Bay somehow stood up to right time yeah, at the yeah. end of that combination. Dog Bay has made a steal. I mean, I, Isaac had success and then got caught. What does he need to do here? You see, the thing is here, he's blocking and he's... What I said to him, he should move his feet. He can't stand in front of him. If I see that he can, I'll just, you know... Especially a young fighter like Isaac Dog Bay. That can probably... About him, who believes in a prophecy that he is to be a champion. That he'll take all the damage because of his belief. And he just took more! that left hook we are round number nine and i'm talking about isaac dog bay that's why he's able to take this type of punishment i'm not sure if navarrete is tired gets the former over the ladder but he's everything is right for him to go in there's that left hook there's that left uppercut right there dog bay swinging for the fence is just hoping to hit a jackpot in return if you think there's going to be power on those shots, they're not. Look at his legs. They're not stable. There's no kind of balance from Isaac Dogbay. There's no way he's arm punching right now. What I'm saying, Tess, like, that shot right there stood Dogbay up. He's hurt. Straight right hand. Oh. Final 20 seconds of round number oh. nine. Looks like the ropes hung up. Oh, what a big shot that was that he stood up to. And somehow he walks towards him again. 
trained to go to danger time and again that's the case raining down with a right hand is Navarrete trying to slice him with a left holding on his dog bay will this fight continue at the end of this round times with for well, most of the time with father that right hand is about to come over the top at distance head snaps back from Navarrete's offense short check hook straight right hands Navarrete tries to chase him down again. At this point, Tess, uh, look at the type of shots he's getting hit with. Like, he's not going down, but he's taking immense punishment. He's got to do the right thing. The total power punch is right now 212 to 98. That's the reason why his father didn't stop him. Isaac felt when they went back to their home country, the oh, yeah. same. He's exposing his own son to horrible punishment. Of continuous damage, rather than just the one shot. Now there. Look at the heart. Unbelievable heart. But not steady on his feet. Compromised defense every single time as he works to wrap up here. Driving down and a left hand comes in at the end. So that thing coming out real aggressive right now. He looks like he's trying to take take out Isaac Dog Bay. Dog Bay still determining game, trying to get it inside to land something hard. It's incredible that Dog Bay keeps coming forward, isn't it? That hard, As he man. eats another short left hook, and now he's just holding on. Remember, it was at the end of the ninth round when his father went on for 55. That's where Navarrete is more effective when he has extension on his punches like that. That's chopping right hand. Right there, he hurt right. his hand right there, too. He did. He damaged his hand. Navarrete trying to shake off his right hand after landing a hard punch and a knockdown. Beats him down again. And Navarrete is swinging his right hand as if he broke it. He is clinching it, writhing in pain there off to the side from this knockdown score. That's it. Towel is thrown in. You said he's trained to go to danger. Well, guess what? He ran to the roar and the lion ate him all night long. That was a brutal beatdown that Isaac Dogbay just took. Brutal. Now, but they knew he had Dog Bay. He just unleashed right hands, looked for that uppercut, missed it, and went over the top with the left. Down goes Dog Bay. He was weakened, he was beat up, and he was ready to go. Of two minutes, two seconds of the 12th and final round, declaring the winner by way of technical knockout, still the WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, El Barquero. Emmanuel